welcome to our evening um, Easter concert. This is the Apostolic Faith Church UK in London, situated on uh, number 13, Penhill Road, DA53 EP. If you are listening to us online, uh, please feel free to come and join us. We are just starting off. So we want to begin with a congregational song, The Old Rugged Cross, after which we shall be led in opening prayer. will be drawn to you, Lord, for their sanctification, Amen. healing of bodies, Lord. Amen. We know that you can do it Amen. for the glory and honor of your name. We pray that you give strength to the choir members Amen. and be 
the one that will help them to lift up their voices to you and let every voice be acceptable unto you for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. to good evening. I'm sure you have the program at time. We will now just uh, go straight into the program. Thank you. Happy viewing.
I pray you be eyes and watch us where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. your grace to a place where we will be safe. I pray you will find your love. I pray we find your grace. And hold it in our hearts. And hold it in our hearts. Let's go out each night. Remind us where you are. Let us be our prayer. Let us be our prayer. Let us fill our day. Lead us to our place. Guide us with your grace. Place where we will be safe. A word of pain and sorrow will be ended, and every heart that's broken will be mended, and we Does life be kind? And watch us from above. We hope it's all we'll find. Another soul to love. Let us be our prayer. Just like every child needs to find a place, guide us with your grace, give us faith so we'll be saved, needs to find a place, guide us with
let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. sacrifice in spite of our greed. We remember your love in spite of our indifference. We remember your offering in spite of our debts. We will not forget. We will not forget the miracle of your birth. We will not forget the wonder of the cross. We will not forget the glory of your resurrection. You alone are the God of wonders.
thank you. We've just come to uh, halfway of this program, so we would just like to have a few minutes break before we come back. But during that uh, interval, um, we hand you over to Brother Michael. Bro Michael? Okay, we hand you over to Bro Mac. Thank you. I think uh, the choir has done a great job, and it's our turn to join our voices together and try to do what we can. Might not be as excellent as the choir was doing, but I'm sure we'll do something great. Uh, let's try number 25. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name. Uh, okay, uh, Brother Luck will lead us. singing. Let's go to number 194. 194. Come thou fount of every blessing. I want to take verses 1. Let's do all the three verses. Come thou fount of every blessing. 
Tune my heart to sing thy grace. Amen. That's what we want to do now. Yes. Does anyone have a choice from collected gospel songs? <coughs> 691. Let's try 691. Blessed be the fountain of blood. Amen. Amen. It's the world, uh, to a world of sinners revealed. Blessed be that dear Son of God. Only by his stripes we are healed. Amen. Amen. Let's do verses 1, 2, and 3 of that. that we give others a chance. When I survey the wondrous cross. What number is it? It's not in this one. Okay. One, those that are in... Uh, okay, let's do number... Okay, 30. Okay. Oh, my soul, bless thou Jehovah. Okay, let's do that one.
with singing. We hand you over to the. Thank you. We believe you enjoyed the halftime. We are now uh, going to uh, start the next section with a piano uh, solo by our Newton. God bless him. Amen. Amen.
is green. A man of sorrows and a The wonder of the cross gives way to the miracle of the ages. The cross, once reviled as an instrument of death, becomes the symbol of hope and redemption as Jesus is resurrected from the dead. Nothing since the foundation of the world has the impact of Jesus walking out of that garden tomb. All that death had shattered the resurrection restored. All that sin had tarnished, the resurrection renewed. Since that first glorious Easter, believers have greeted one another with words that still echo with unsurpassed joy. He is risen.
forevermore. Yes. Sin is gone. Yes. Shame is gone. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Turn your Bible is to Romans 8. The letter of Paul the Apostle to Romans chapter 8. We read verse 11 only. 8, 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by a spirit that dwelleth in you. Amen. The spirit of God is the power above all powers. Yes. That is why we are celebrating Easter. The spirit that raised Jesus Christ up from the dead is the spirit that every one of us should have in our life. You know, this is it, really. This is what it's all about. This is what you have, you can say, you can say from, I mean, Bible from Genesis to Revelation, that's it. That's what the, the choir and orchestra, they've performed, you know, wonderfully to portray for us. That is all what um, it's, it's all about. It's about promise given, promise delivered. Amen. Now we thank God for that. God promised Jesus Christ for you and me so that we will be with God forever and God delivered that promise. Jesus Christ died on Friday, but we praise God for Sunday. Amen. We thank God for his love for us. Amen. That because God wanted all of us to be reconciled back to him, he wants that fellowship with, with all of us. He gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Amen. The most expensive gift that no man, no money can ever buy, but is free. It's free because someone paid the price. Amen. Jesus Christ paid the price. The, promis the provision has been made. Amen. The question for you is really, are you going to take that provision? You know, you can put, you can make provision for your, you know, as a dad, or any, any parent can make provision for their child or children, but whether that provision will benefit them is up to them, really. If they don't take it, it doesn't benefit them. God has made provision for you, for everyone, yes. to be back to him. Amen. It's my prayer that you take that provision. Amen. It's my prayer that you believe that provision. Amen. It's my prayer that you will use it. Amen. To me, the way I see it, you know, taking that provision, which is just asking Jesus to come into your life. To me, you know what it means? It really means actually taking back control. To me, that is what taking back control means. I take back control of my life from Satan, and I give it to God because I know that God has perfect thoughts towards me. God is the best partner you can have. If you take back control of your life and you give it to him, you can go to sleep. Why? Because you have, you, that means you have that spirit that raised Jesus Christ up, that we are celebrating today. Amen. That power above all power. Amen. So that when that day comes, and the day is coming. Yes. Oh, the day is coming, that Jesus Christ is coming back. Amen. When that rapture happens, oh, you, you will go. Amen. I will go as well and meet Jesus Christ, who will be in every, you know, for seven years we'll be enjoying. Amen. And he doesn't hurt the end there, we will also come back to this world and reign with him eternally. Amen. To me, that is really, I mean, when the choir and orchestra were you know, singing those songs, I picked a phrase there in one of the songs that they say, run to win. To me, that is running to win. Yes. Yes. If you, you are not running in vain, yes. you don't want to run this race of life in vain. Amen. When I run to win, that is when I see Jesus Christ face to face. Then I have won. Yes. You know, I, this provision that Jesus Christ has made, that God has made, is the provision for salvation of your soul. Yes. What does it mean, really? It's about you getting forgiveness for your sins. Yes. You ask God, just forgive me for the sake of Jesus Christ, yes. your only begotten son yes. that died on the cross of Calvary, that was raised up on the third day, have mercy upon me. 
Jesus Christ will forgive your sins. Amen. Not only that, he will give you the power to go and sin no more. Amen. You know, you will just take back control. You, you, you are now in charge. Why? Because God, the Spirit of God, is in you. Amen. You know, when you have this, you have joy unspeakable. Amen. I, I tell you, the joy you have at salvation is joy nothing else compares to it. I, I have witnessed it. You know, God, God has blessed me in several ways in my life. But the day I was saved, from that day up to this moment, the joy that salvation gives me, oh, it passes the joy of a uh, successful career. It's more than so, the joy of having children. More, more, no, nothing, there's nothing you can compare to it. So I'm pleading with you. Take this provision seriously. Today, you can pray to God and say, Jesus, have mercy upon me. Amen. Forgive me of my sins. Amen. That is when you can say, and when that happens, you can say you have truly celebrated Easter. Amen. And you are in control. God is in control. And you, you are on your way to winning Amen. the race of life. Amen. God bless you. strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seals thereof and no man in heaven nor in earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look thereon and I wept much because no man was found to open the book And to read the book. He wished to. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth. Do you feel the world is broken? Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the 
for joining us this evening. May God bless you. Amen. I'm sure you've uh, enjoyed the presentations so far. The message is still the same as we have heard. Hallelujah. He is risen. Amen. Now, just to, if you turn to the back of your program, you see we have uh, the schedule for our services. Sundays, we meet here for Sunday school for all ages at 10 a.m. Then we do have devotional service at quarter past 11, revival and evangelistic service at 5 p.m. Wednesdays, we do have Bible studies at 7.30 p.m. We have two groups. One uh, group meets here at uh, Bexley, the other one on Tuesdays in uh, Medway, but at the same time. Friday, we do have prayer meetings at 8 p.m. If you live local and you um, happen to be in Bexley, if you don't live local and you happen to be in Bexley, we'll be welcome to have you around anytime you visit. May God bless our choir. Amen. Um, these, um, they don't get paid for what they do. 
uh, God rewards them. Amen. And the most important thing is uh, they are offering a service unto God for the salvation of their souls that God has done for them. Amen. So they are singing what they have, the love of God which they have experienced. When they are saying he is risen, indeed the spirit of Christ who is risen is in their heart. Amen. So they are communicating a message which they have experienced in their lives. So we will have the last song, which is a congregational song. Um, and can it be by C. Wesley? And then Brother Ayo will be leading us through that song. And then we'll have the closing prayer. I think we'll ask, sis, okay, we'll ask Brother Francis to give us the closing prayer. Shall we all rise up to sing verses 1, 3, 4, and 5? 1, 3, and 5. Ah, ah. Challenging as the times may be, Lord, you give them the grace you sustain them. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Amen. Father, Lord God, we praise you. Amen. We ask, oh God, that you bless them abundantly. Amen. Oh Lord, that you grant them the grace to serve you to the end. Amen. As they have sang, they are not running this race, this race in vain. They are running to win. Amen. Lord, help that they will run to the end. Amen. And Lord, all of us will be winners. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. renew their strength, O oh God. Amen. Renew your grace upon their lives. Amen. Lord, give them more 
of your abundant blessing in Jesus' name. Pray for them. Pray for their homes. Lord God, pray for all that they lay their hands on. Let them prosper, oh God. And Lord, for the rest of us that we have come here tonight to enjoy their singing, we're praying that um, we would not have heard them in vain. But that God, you will grant us the grace that we will go home with the message of the songs. And Lord, this will live with us until we see you in glory. If there is anyone here that is yet to make peace with you, let tonight be their night. Oh Lord, reconcile every soul to yourself. Send us home with joy and rejoicing. Thank you for answered prayers, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.